What's up, guys? This is Justin. I'm here with Lewis. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, we are playing Rayman Adventure on the Apple TV. Yep, just got it in the office today. So uh, there is all kinds of games available on the Apple TV. That's sort of the big difference between this Apple TV and the last one is it actually has a proper games uh, app store on it now. So yeah, you can exactly. download apps and other games. Yeah, so now it has tvOS on it. Um, think of it basically as iOS for the television. So you have full access to your apps, and they have a whole game section now, so you can download these games like Rayman Adventures. Right. So there's certain games that uh, uh, you know are going to be Apple TV exclusive. So is the Apple TV a games platform? Um, you know, is it something that's just kind of casual like mobile games, or is Apple kind of treating it a little bit more seriously? Uh, time will tell, right? Like yep. it just kind of depends. But we just wanted to sort of give you a first sort of quick look, just a glance at uh, you know how the controller works. We have this little. I don't know what you would call it. What is it called? The Apple Remote? Or? I guess it's the Apple TV Remote. It's just got it, a glass trackpad on the top, so you can swipe and click yeah, down. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'll tell people more about the game in a sec, but uh, sort of why I'm stum while I'm stumbling my way through this first level, why don't you sort of give people the overview of how this remote works, or sort of its buttons, and just sort of the different functions on it. Sure. So the unique thing about the Apple TV Remote is that on the top third of the remote is a glass touchpad. So if you use Apple's MacBooks before, it feels exactly like that. Uh, it's uh, it's smooth under your thumb and it feels really good and really intuitive. Uh, there's buttons for going back to the menus, going to the home screen, volume, a dedicated Siri button, and a dedicated play pause button. So. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what game developers take advantage of or what they're even allowed to take advantage of, like how many of these buttons, like can they really use all six buttons for games, yeah. or are they really sort of strictly relegated to using the touchpad? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. But, There's uh, also an accelerometer in there, so if you're playing a driving game, you can use it as a steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So uh, if anyone's played any of the Rayman games on mobile before, um, I think that it was super fair to be skeptical. You know, people are very skeptical about mobile gaming, but Rayman Jungle Run and Rayman... Uh, Rayman Fiesta Run was the sequel, were uh, really good. Um, they're sort of auto runners, like Rayman moves on his own, and with one button you can kind of jump or wall jump or attack, and it was really contextual. Um, this is sort of like that, like Rayman is moving on his own, I'm not using a D-pad to move him left or right, but you do have more control than you did in those games thanks to sort of these new swipe controls. So yeah. let me sort of... Uh, so it's a platformer, basically. It's not an endless runner, which is nice to see. Yeah, that's super true. Um, oops. Wap. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? There we go. Um, your creatures are exhausted. Drag food to the root to wake one of them up. Oh, microtransactions. What does that I mean, Lewis? It. Oh, there it goes. It's just kind of trying to take me through a little tutorial. Okay. okay Game's so gorgeous, though. The art. There we go. I figured it's it really nice. So uh, let's talk about how some of these controls work. So I'm moving here. I can swipe. I have this little thing on my thumb. I'm holding it like a remote control, and I can swipe left or right to move. I tap to jump. And then uh, you also have some... Con oh, did I just find a little secret? A little secret secret? Smash it. So yeah, like little things like that. Like I can swipe down to do a little smash attack. Like that's sort of simple controls that uh, you couldn't really do in the mobile version. You were sort of strictly limited to just jumping like this. Um, you were commenting on the graphics. Yeah, very gorgeous. And this is another sort of question I had about Rayman coming to uh, the TV. Like I knew that this game was very, very pretty on phones and tablets, mm -hmm. but how would it look when it was blown up? You know, like on a, we're watch, we're playing very, very close to a large HD television right now, and it's still like the graphics totally hold up. It still looks really, really yeah, good. Definitely, it's 1080p, 60 frames a second, I think. Um, so it's not 4K, which is something that the Apple mm -hmm. TV is lacking, which kind of sucks. So you're not future proof in that sense, but it does make the app support a little easier on the A8 processor inside of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, this isn't a review of the game itself. We sort of just fired it up. We actually didn't take any time to sort of play around with it very much before recording this. Uh, but my initial judgment is uh, Jungle Run and uh, Fiesta Run were very, very linear. Um, so it was just sort of like go through the level. The levels were all a gauntlet. And here I'm already sort of noticing that there's more like light exploration. Like it's a little bit less linear and you can sort of go off the beaten path to, tr to find these, uh, you know, hidden extras and bonuses in a way that you couldn't do quite as much in those two games. So maybe a little bit more TV game-esque in that sense. Um uh, Rayman Adventure is a free download, so there are going to be microtransactions of some kind, and uh, you know we'll have to spend more time with the game to really have a handle on, you know, are they reasonable? Are they onerous? Like, do they feel good? Do they feel bad? Uh, yeah. You know, don't really know. My initial snap judgment, uh, after some initial sort of trouble with setup, I totally don't mind this control method at all. Mm -hmm. 
like I don't know that I would rather sit here and play this game on my TV than you know Destiny or yeah. Fallout. Like there's a big difference between TV gaming and mobile gaming. Um, I think it's still early days. This is one of the flagship mm-hmm. Apple TV games that's gonna be in, available in the App Store to download. Yeah. But it'd be interesting to see if it takes off and see if developers create these Apple TV exclusives that are meant to be played on that device. Yeah, I mean, is there any kind of sense that uh, th- what works on mobile is what's different than what works on a television? You know, on a television, you want like a full meal, and on mobile, you kind of want a snack. And yeah. so, are all the games on the Apple TV just going to be snacks, or will there be like meteor game experiences that are able to play with kind of a one handed controller? Uh, I don't know. Time will tell. Yep. But, uh, you know, again, this was just sort of a quick sneak peek at uh, the graphics and Rayman Adventure and how some of the controls worked. Uh, we're going to have a lot more on the Apple TV soon, including, I think we're going to give people a closer look at Siri. Uh, what's some of the other stuff people can look forward to, Lewis? So we're going to have a quick look over the OS and see what's changed there. We're going to have a look at Siri and see what type of answers she actually understands this time, because she understands natural <laughs> language now. Yeah, yeah. So let's see how far we can push that artificial intelligence. Yeah, right and on. And then also I think more games. We're probably going to have a full review, right? Is that yeah, gonna we're going to have a full review, so stay tuned for that. Cool, cool. So uh, right on. Uh, everybody, this has been a quick look at Rayman Adventure on the Apple TV. And remember that for all things Apple, you're already in the right place. IGN.